Yamma, Nora. Each handprint on this wall tells a unique and important story about Australia's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. From prominent Aboriginal trailblazers to young high school students, the Kawinda classroom at Henry Kendall High School in Gosford on the New South Wales Central Coast connects hundreds of Indigenous people from around the country. I think looking at the artworks and all of the people that have come into this room and you know have walked through this room and had their journey in this school, seeing their handprints on the wall, seeing their names, the years that they had come in, really made me feel like there were other people that are connected and that everyone shares different parts of their journey, but we all have our own journeys. Like thousands of young Indigenous people in Australia, Kamilaroi woman Angel Gould grew up disconnected from her culture and family. But coming into the Kawinda space during high school helped change that. I think there definitely was, for me, having a family that was really disconnected. Your family is your culture, so I felt like I did have a degree of disconnection from my culture. Being able to come here and spend time with family and connect to culture at the same time was like two birds with one stone, you know. It was about mending those relationships with my family and mending them with myself. The most important thing for young Aboriginal people is their connection to culture. I think that culture makes up our identity, it makes up our strength, it makes up our resilience, our perseverance. I think that Without culture, we have that missing piece of our puzzle. The room was established by Gumilaroi Mandiandanji and a Wobba man, Kevin Gavi Duncan, and school teacher, a non Indigenous man, Alan Herring, in the 1990s. You are the space. Oh, well. <laughs> we, we stepped inside with you. <laughs> Your space. Well, we all did it together. I we think. did. Over the past three decades, the site has grown to include an outside yarning circle, totem poles, and a garden providing countless Indigenous students with a safe place to connect with culture and each other. When it first started, we had a pretty low retention rate, um, a very minimal HSC extension rate, let alone go to university. And now we, we have students that have come through that room and are now teaching and are now in high positions in, in education, Indigenous education. And that knowledge is so comforting it's just a privilege to watch it and to be part of it. Central Coast is a place where, I don't know, it's a place where all the stolen generation have met up or decided to settle. It's the capital of Australia for the stolen generation, basically. So um, there's a lot of disconnection. I work in schools, you know, I've been working in schools since 80, my God, 83, 82, and um, with culture. And um, since that time, I've never experienced um, culture the way I had, you know, here, and the way that I've, they've accepted it and brought it in to the school itself and, and to the kids. The room, to me, is it's become a sacred space, a, a sacred area. It's just like, um, you know, a cave or a rock art or engraving as such, and. Um, by having people's hands um, and prominent Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people to put their hands on that wall. It's, it's the very DNA of them people that have you know, left their print into that wall, like Charles Perkins, who was an amazing man who changed the whole political history of this country. And we have his, you know, his signature here, which is hand, um, on this wall. The space has also given non-Indigenous students and teachers a chance to learn about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander history and culture. That's been my life in dedicating to create a better understanding of Aboriginal culture and who we are as Aboriginal people. And I think this room has, has achieved that, you know, it's achieved all those things um, that I wanted to achieve in, in the school system because it didn't exist. For former high school captain Holly Miller, the space helped her become the proud Bunjalung woman she is today. It's not till you walk through the doors of this place and you see how many handprints are on the backspace of this room, do you realise the sort of the magnitude of the Aboriginal population through the school and then also the Aboriginal heritage of visitors and the really special people that have come through the room. It pretty much shows how big the Aboriginal system and kingship system can be, um, that we're all connected in some sort of way, even though if it's as small as a handprint, we're all together, we're all on this land together and we've all got each other's backs no matter what.